हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर निशा वराडे फ्रॉम शंकर लाल खंडेलवाल कॉलेज अकोला एंड टुडे वी विल सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लंग्स एंड स्किन एज रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स इन वर्टिब्रेट्स टू स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट वी विल सी लंग्स एज रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन इन डिफरेंट क्लासेस ऑफ वर्टिब्रेटा दे आर द एसेंशियल रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स ऑफ लैंड वर्टिब्रेट्स एंड और टेट्रापोड्स एंड लंग फिशेज दे आर वेरी इलास्टिक एंड डिस्टेंसीबल इन टेट्रापोड एम्ब्रियोज लंग्स अराइज एज अ सिंगल मिड वेंट्रल डायवर्टिकुलम फ्रॉम द फ्लोर ऑफ फैरिंग्स इट्स सोन बायफर्केट्स इन टू राइट एंड लेफ्ट लंग बर्ड्स द अनडिवाइडेड कॉमन पोर्शन डेवलप्स इन टू विंड पाइप और ट्रकिया एंड लैरिंग्स एंड ओपन्स इन टू फैरिंग्स थ्रू ग्लॉटिस इन लंग फिशेज द स्विम ब्लैडर्स दे एक्ट एज लंग्स इन एम्फीबियंस two lungs are simple hollow sacs with a wide central cavity and suspended freely into peritoneal body cavity they are elongated in urodels but bulbous in anurans in frogs and toads lungs um, the wall of lungs may be divided peripherally by a network of folds or trabeculae into air sacs or alveoli they are richly vascularized lined with mucous epithelium lungs of reptiles are more complicated the uh, in snakes uh, left lung may be rudimentary or absent in lizards and turtles wall of lung is considerably thickened due to inclusion of greater amount of highly vascularized connective tissue in partitions so that the whole lungs become spongy in crocodiles mammal like lungs are found they hang freely in the body cavity lungs in birds that is avian lungs are unique in architecture and greatly modified due to their aerial mode of life lungs are small compact spongy and only slightly capable of contraction expansion they are placed outside coelom in pleural cavities they give out several thin walled membranous sac that invade most part of the body forming network of air capillaries Mammalian lungs are also highly developed, spongy and very elastic. They lie protected in special chambers called, called pleural cavities, which are separated from rest of pe perivisceral body cavities by a muscular diaphragm. In most mammals, lungs are subdivided externally into lobes, two left lobes and three right lobes in man. The mammalian lung looks like branched respiratory tree. the bronchus divides rapidly inside the lung ultimately resulting into a large number of terminal grape like clusters of air sacs or alveoli being terminal terminal and blind they always retain a certain amount of residual air after every expiration in mammals intercostal muscles ribs diaphragm sternum and abdominal muscles all aid in breathing this is all about lungs as respiratory organs in vertebrates now we'll see about skin as a respiratory organ respiration in tadpole or larval stages of amphibians is by means of external gills whereas in adult frog respiration is through moist surface of outer skin known as cutaneous respiration or through lining of buccopharyngeal cavity known as buccal respiration or through the lungs known as pulmonary respiration in each case there are numerous blood capillaries lying close to the moist epithelium through which the two g gases readily diffuse oxygen going in and carbon dioxide coming out cutaneous respiration goes on all the time where whether frog is in or out of water it is particularly or practically the only mode of respiration when the frog is under water or hibernating skin is richly supplied with blood and is permeable to gases before oxygen can diffuse into blood it must first dissolve in moist surface that is why frog always stay near water to keep their skin moist it is further kept moist by secretion of mucus from its glands and does not become dry out of water since the skin remains exposed to air or water no movements or uh, are needed in cutaneous respiration this is all about lungs and skin as respiratory organs in vertebrates thank you students